Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. A Franco-Swiss inventor, Isaac de Rivas, in 1806, designed a hydrogen engine called the de Rivas engine. He built a small experimental vehicle in 1807, which was claimed to be the first vehicle powered by an IC engine fueled by hydrogen. Coming back to the 20th century, a Japanese automobile manufacturer named Mazda developed a sports car called the Mazda RX-8 Hydrogen RE between 2002 to 2012. This car was powered by a rotary Wankel engine which burnt hydrogen as its fuel. Even BMW built a car which was powered by hydrogen. It was called the BMW Hydrogen 7, a limited hydrogen IC engine vehicle built from 2005 to 2007. All these vehicles were discontinued because of lack of hydrogen fuel stations. Our video for today is going to be about this hydrogen engine. In one of our previous videos, we spoke about hydrogen as fuel, their benefits, drawbacks and its production process. The link for the video is in the description below. Do check it out. When compared to the stoichiometric gasoline air mixture, the stoichiometric hydrogen air mixture burns 7 times faster. This leads to high thermal efficiency of the engine. In the combustion process, when hydrogen fuel is mixed with air and ignited, it produces water as the byproduct. Because of this, it is considered safe and it does not compromise on the engine performance as well. So hydrogen is supposed to be one of the best alternative fuels. Sounds good, right? But unfortunately, due to high temperature inside the combustion engine, nitrogen reacts with oxygen as well and produces oxides of nitrogen along with water as byproducts. The NOx produced is the harmful emission from the hydrogen engines. Apart from this, hydrogen has low energy density both as a gas and liquid. In spite of its high calorific value, its energy density as a liquid is only one-fourth that of gasoline and as a gas, it is less than one-tenth that of air. The heating value per unit volume of hydrogen is less than one-third of that of methane. As we already spoke in our previous video, hydrogen has to be stored as compressed gas or as liquid which increases the storage space. Even though hydrogen has better advantages than gasoline, it is still not as convenient as gasoline. Now let's move on to the next important segment of the video. In SI engines, hydrogen can be used by three methods. By manifold introduction of hydrogen, by direct introduction of hydrogen into the cylinder and by supplementing gasoline. The first method is by manifold introduction of hydrogen. The power output of a hydrogen engine is limited by factors such as pre-ignition and backflash. Pre-ignition is the tendency of the air-fuel mixture to ignite before the spark plug ignites the mixture, whereas in backflash, the flame propagates into the storage tank or supply line. So, to address these issues, cold hydrogen is introduced through a valve-controlled passage into the inlet manifold. Here, cold hydrogen reduces the risk of pre-ignition and backflash. The next method is by direct introduction of hydrogen into the cylinder. Here, hydrogen is stored in liquid form in a cryogenic container. With the help of a pump, the liquid is sent to a small heat exchanger where it is converted into cold hydrogen gas and then sent straight into the cylinder. Here again, the cold hydrogen reduces the risk of pre-ignition and backflash. Now for the third method, by supplementing gasoline. In this method, hydrogen is used as a supplement fuel. Along with gasoline, it is inducted into the cylinder gets compressed and ignited by spark for the combustion to take place. Now let's talk about compression ignition engines. There are two methods used by which hydrogen can be used in CI engines. In the first method, hydrogen air mixture is sent into the combustion chamber and diesel spray is used to complete the combustion. This is the dual fuel mode. But the drawback here is when the quantity of diesel is small, hydrogen air mixture will be rich. Thus, the combustion becomes violent. So, in order to avoid violent combustion, the quantity of hydrogen may be in the range of 10 to 30 percent and the rest of the energy is supplied by diesel. In the second method, hydrogen is directly introduced into the cylinder at the end of compression. But the auto ignition temperature of hydrogen is higher than diesel. Thus, the auto-ignition of hydrogen is not possible even at higher compression ratio. So, a glow plug is used to ignite hydrogen. In CI engines where hydrogen is directly injected, using ceramic parts help to retain the engine heat. The recycling of the residual gases from the previous cycle will also help in the ignition of hydrogen. So, today we've seen if hydrogen can be practically used in engines and also the methods by which hydrogen can be used along with fossil fuels in SI and CI engines. That's it for this video guys. See you again in the next one. Until then, bye!